Hello everybody, my name is Doc and Dude, and welcome back to Minecraft Infinity. I'm going to be doing a tutorial again today. This is the second one I've done for this week, <clears throat> but it's a couple of unique tricks that I think might help you out in the future. Now, Pam's Harvest Craft is one of my favorite mods, but they made a change in the past couple iterations, I and J mod, uh, versions of the mod pack, of the mod, that... Instead of getting four fresh waters for one bucket of water, now you only got one for one. So, needs to say, I was bummed. Because I, I love Pam's Harvest Craft. Milk's the same way, but milk we can do a different way. Anyway, I have come up with a solution. I did this in a previous video uh, a while back on a different series. But I wanted to do a tutorial nonetheless. Now, there is a way to get infinite fresh waters. See, stack after stack after stack after stack after stack after stack after stack. It works just like that. Anyway. What you'll be needing for this mod pack, or for this for this to work, is a cyclic assembler, an aqueous accumulator, better barrel, leadstone flux duct, or any kind of flux duct really, item duct, temperate flu fluid duct, or any kind of fluid duct really, or and a servo. Any of the servos will also do. <coughs> now, here's what it take. Here's what it comes up to. The aqueous accumulator is, an, is, a, is a device that uses two source blocks of water, one on the other side, to collect water. And it will automatically fill up every so often and transfer fluid through the top, or one of the sides, whichever one you prefer, into a fluid duct, which will go into a machine. Now, a cyclic assembler is a very interesting unit. What it does is it takes a pre-planned recipe and we'll execute it if it has the items in, the in its inventory. This one I have set up to where if you put a water bucket in, it will produce a fresh water. Now, do I have... I do not have one in here. Let me type that up real fast. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Water buckets. Now, schematic is in there now. So if you put a water bucket in, it will show that it makes a fresh water. Hit yes. Well, schematic. One times fresh water. So, basically all it needs, doesn't even need the buckets in there, is water to go in, and it will automatically create a fresh water, which will go into your barrel. So you have, albeit it's not super fast, but it is infinite amount. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's just continuous. If you're not you know, constantly pumping out water, you can keep going, just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. And you get buckets and buckets. So, you just take any energy cell or basically any power source and make sure your cyclic assembler has power. That's the only item here that requires power and it'll just keep creating. So you need the fluid duct to connect to here for the water to pump in. Make sure that your configuration allows for the water to come in through the bottom section. And then an item duct going out the top, or whichever side you prefer, into a barrel, or ME system, chest, how, whatever have you. It's just a unique way I found. And I also took it one step further. Water going into here. Pumping out through a servo, which it's blacklisted, so it allows anything to come out. Make sure your redstone control is disabled. That way it'll always pump out no matter what. Now if you want it to where you have to emit a redstone signal, choose a lower or high. And water goes into here, creating salt. I have it assisted here to where you take and put a pot and a fresh water and you get salt. The only thing you have to have, make sure you have is you have to have a pot in there. 
if you have a pot in there, the recipe will work. But for some reason, you don't need the water bucket in the other one to make the fresh water. I don't know. That's, I think that's a bug, but it works, you know. So basically, you can have an infinite amount of salt. I've got a full barrel of 64 stacks of salt. Now, I'm going to be doing a video <coughs> later on on how to automate soybean production to where you can get the so soft silken tofu and you can get the firm tofu as well. And using that, we'll be able to get cheese and butter automated as well. Some of the most things that you need the most in Pam's Harvest Craft. I know it's a short video, but it doesn't really take much to explain. It's pretty self-explanatory uh, how it's going here. But here are the items you're going to need to construct them. A cyclic assembler is basically two tin gears, a machine frame, frame bleh, redstone reception coil, two copper gears, and a chest. I mean, it's pretty basic stuff. It's not really expensive. Uh, for the autumn aqueous accumulator, I've said in a previous video, but I'll state it again. A bucket, two glass, a machine frame, basic, resonant, whatever have you, pneumatic servo, and two copper gears. Better barrels are just logs or wood, chest, and a slab. Can be any logs, can be any slab, just got to make sure they're all together. Leadstone flax duct is the most basic one you can make, so that's why I chose it to make a demonstration. Redstone, lead, and glass. Item duct, hardened glass and tin. Now this may not be accessible for everybody under the sun right away because it does require pulverized obsidian or obsidian dust with lead. So you may not be able to do it right away. So, or you can just pour molten lead right onto obsidian, which actually is l less efficient because you get, would get double the amount if you did it with the ancient smelter or alloy smelter. Servos are actually really easy. This glass, some iron nuggets, iron, and a redstone. I made these extra in case for more items that I needed, but I didn't need to. The, that's the other Steam tutorial, but like I said, this is just a quick little easy way for you to get infinite amount of water, fresh waters, for Pam's Harvest Craft. Um, I want to try and do one for um milk later on i don't have the cows and i don't really know for sure how to do it productively yet if you have any suggestions make sure you comment down below i'm also going to be doing like i said one for to tofu so we can get cheese and also get uh butter because uh with all four of those and if we can get an automatic i can show you guys another way to automatically make dough bread dough you guys will be set in, my, in Pam's Harvest Craft, more or less. So I hope you guys did enjoy it and you learned a little something new. And I'll see you guys next time.